Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Okay, we have an ambulance on the way. I'm here to help, and we're there to take care of people. The vital functions of life. How are you going to gauge that? The learning just never stops. All the ones that act out on scene will tell you a lot of information, right? Do you feel pretty confident about it? There's nobody here that isn't going to pass that test, right? Somebody's life is in immediate danger. If you don't intercede, that person is going to have a negative outcome. 0722 0722 0722 0722 Service is what we do Service is what we do Medicine will be my tool Medicine I feel like I don't want to get myself too excited ATC EMS ATC EMS Traditionally will be the best Traditionally will be the best I've been working at this now for what Continuing in integrity. Continuing in integrity. Excellence in everything. Excellence in everything. Fill up your water bottles Thank if you don't have them. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Crap, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, snap. Um. Yeah, I'm like, it's all a blur. Yeah, but talk about that, right? It's like... <laughs> like, I still feel like I'm stuck the day after the test. Like... I don't know, it just all went by like so fast. I really lost my train of thought. It's okay. Yeah, it happens. Um, I mean, I can't imagine going somewhere and not having like this much preparation. I would be so nervous. Like, <sighs> Let's see. So towards the end of the academy, the cadets are really excited because they're getting ready to graduate and they're getting ready to go out into the real world environment. In a busy, high-paced system. I'm like a child. If you stop letting me go code three, we're, we're done here. So we've spent a lot of time with the cadets. We've spent at that point eight weeks. There's a classification based on what placard it's going to get. And then there's a UN number. You get quite personally invested and you make a lot of friends with the cadets, right? <laughs> yeah, let's have a look in here. Let's find... Um, we feel like they enrich our lives a lot and we learn a lot from the cadets as well. Okay, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't mix well with water. What else? Oh, I don't like explosions. Multiple numbers. 3294 might be in here. Okay, any questions about that? Spread out and roam around. You got it. Good. Sure. Look if there's any... Uh, is even there, even is like there any other chemical name on it? No, sir. No? All there okay. is is this hydro, or aromatic are, hydrocarbons. This, that's flammable. It's choose your poison. Immediately evacuate in 100 meters in all directions. But this one is uh, something completely different. He is totally the dad. It's outrageous. Is it age related? It is not age. <laughs> you just put in the name in the app. You just search like this one is methylamine and anhydrous. Did you find it? Sodium hydroxide. Okay, yeah. okay. And that's good as well. He is totally that awkward dad at Disney. All right, just uh, drop that stuff and just drop your bottles and everything and just go up here for a photo opportunity. Okay, all right, <laughs> hold on. Just pretend you're kissing the alligator. Fortunately, we don't have the whole crowd, but th that's okay. No, 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 no. Captain Kloski's like... I'm a hazmat technician. If it's got a label, the chemical number would be like metal, ethyl, terrible stuff. And the UN number, that one's corrosive, or I think one of them is flammable, and one of them's like gas. I don't know, like all your knowledge is, is right there. Good, good, good. Just a big brain, and then Captain Nelson. I actually had it practice smiling, right? It's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's just funny. I was like, I don't understand, like everyone seems like really weirded out, and they're like, well, because you don't smile. And I'm like, oh, should I, right? And this is what I was like when I was a cadet, trying to learn how to like, I'm like, oh, okay. And it's like, whoa, God, that's terrifying, right? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, Captain Nelson's very smart as well. Is this better? No, it's not <laughs> better, right? <laughs> Toxic may be fatal uh, if inhaled, ingested, or absorbed through skin. When the hot air starts to rise, other air rushes in to fill the vacuum, right? Captain Kluski's like, he thinks... Go with the first one? All of us are the same. Could just advise whoever was coming in that you've got benzoyl peroxide. Where good, good. You don't want to be downwind of any of this stuff. Dean Rocha, uh, you're going to go and get the response bags and the monitor and go over there and meet Camp Sequina and there's a call over there. Right now? Yeah, okay. right now. Yes, sir. Yeah, like a real call. Camp Sequina will meet you and uh, go, with her, go with her on the call. There, there's a, uh, a cop passed out or something. So Medical. They've got the bags, so they're going to go over and meet uh, Kerry. Thank you. And then they're going to respond to the call. So it's an actual call. Heart started to like, jump to the roof, got super dizzy, headed, um, sat up. Took some deep breaths. Could you get a mango blood pressure for me, please? Took some deep breaths. Mm -hmm. Some water. 
and you were just sitting in class when it started, and you're having no pain anywhere, right? No pain in your chest, no pain in your belly. Now you had any numbness or tingling around your feet? Yeah. Uh, not my feet, but my hands. I love Captain Sinclair. I know I can go to her for anything. Captain Sinclair. She should be on like TED Talk or something. You've, and you've had an episode like this before, but it's been a while? Not this bad. I was trying to see if it would just go away. And then it, it just didn't. You know. Because you get out there and you see so many calls. You meet so many different people. I'll take good care of you. <laughs> Have a good time. You interact with so many agencies. Better Captain you build your, your practice as a medical provider and a top-notch clinician really quite quickly, you know. To be quite frank, some of the procedures that we have to do here, you don't have time to make a phone call. So how can we begin to de-escalate these problems? All these little indicators, you know, she's already being difficult, she's being argument, she doesn't want to go, right? And then, boom, just things that we think about, like, well, maybe they're already ramping themselves up. I really wish I would have had, like, self-defense before I went in so I could have been, like, flipping over winters or something. So she happened to be a, a bronze medalist in Olympic Taekwondo. <laughs> and she kicked him so hard that she gave him testicular torsion. So... Like, I'm not going to be scared to touch somebody if they're about to kill me. <laughs> Any information we have beforehand is always good, but we don't always have that, right? Don't do this just because your patient doesn't want to put on a seatbelt. <laughs> I'm going to feel more comfortable, I would say. Like, I won't be as scared. I mean, obviously, they're, they said, know your limitations. We control the operational tempo, right? And we don't want things to go kinetic, right? We want it to be, hey, man, you want to go to the hospital? I want to take you to the hospital. I'm here. Let's go. Right? That's what we're always looking for. Most of the time, it's going to be fine, right? Most, most things don't, those things don't happen, but, but they could, right? It's fine that way. So we're going to start with probably the worst position you could find yourself in. Okay, that's number one. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Number two. I was like, are you ready? I was like, no. <laughs> Let me know when. <laughs> ready is all over All right, ready? Here we go. Awesome. <laughs> Get it, Rocha! Get it, Rocha! <laughs> okay, so that's going to be your control on top. They definitely explained when you're supposed to do this. Only do this last case scenario when your life is on the line, you know? No, 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 no. Keep it under there. There you go. Boom. If I hadn't posted I'm here, he can roll. Boom. We don't want that. Yep. Keep coming this way. Keep coming this way. There. Good. Now keep your hips down. My partner was struggling with using their whole body for their momentum. It's all right. You know how to deal with that right there. Damn! <laughs> You're so strong, Russia! It was fun. That was probably like my favorite, favorite day. Anybody have any questions about this? That's the first key. And then as you start to develop, you're able to recognize these rules because obviously rules happen because something bad happened. And so you don't want to necessarily repeat that. But once again, that comes also on the cross branch of self-reporting and being able to actually develop a system that allows us to be able to work together. and. Uh, as a collaborative team and become a better system uh, and more efficient for that matter as well. Uh, hence the reason why Austin Travis County EMS is so progressive and because they're so open-minded. Right. Does that make sense? Yes, so again, there's, uh, here comes our other truck. Coming to Austin Travis County EMS. All right. Light check. Driving the vehicle, it takes a little bit of time to find out where your pivot points are and being comfortable with it. You press that. And like, and I still have trouble with a few things. All right, belt's on. And it's hard to judge your distance when you can't see and saying, okay, I have enough room. This is on training one. All right, cool. <laughs> How much enough room really truly is. Let's go around the backside to like evasive lane. We'll go around, do that turn first. You got it. Learning lingo, knowing the difference between in route and responding and knowing when to put on your lights and sirens and being aware of all these buttons and like, you're mitigating so many little things as a driver or even as a passenger. When did you get your driver's license? 18. So you've only been driving? A year. <laughs> yeah. It's a little faster. I learned to drive a small Honda. Don't touch the brakes until you get that first cut. They said it's easy. Because these are really expensive vehicles that we're driving. Uh, and you don't want to you don't want to wreck it. You don't want to break anything. You don't want to scratch anything And it's and sometimes it's hard to understand those pivot points, especially when you start to learn how to drive My spatial awareness is definitely like off <sighs> Yeah, I was so frustrated You hit a cone Did I? Yeah. Okay. Hold your 
Old Evasa. Why can I not drive this ambulance? Like it's an ambulance. Everybody else is doing it. So why? So you didn't turn the wheel fast enough. Okay. Are you kind of blowing like this? It's got to be quick. <laughs> it starts out kind of wide and then it uh, gets narrow. At the beginning of it, you don't. Going through that course allows us to be able to kind of develop that spatial awareness oh, excuse me. with the oh. rig and understanding our pivot points. And then on top of that, we have instructors, clinical specialists, captains, chiefs that are coming out here that really help us develop. Aha, no content. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, it, that's, that's it, that's it, that's, that's it, that's it. All right. So from here, it's a matter of just getting her tail out. Oh, oh, she's going to move. Go ahead. She's just opening it up for you. You got it. All right. Let's see what happens, huh? Man 11, your window needs to be rolled down. Yep. Oh. Wait, huh. That doesn't make any sense because it's supposed to go. Okay, like this, go check yeah? it out. Hey, Ross, where's that cone at? Oh, it's a okay. That makes sense. But technically, I already hit the wall, so... All right. Don't get too confident, because if you get too confident, you become complacent, and then that's when accidents happen, and you don't want that to happen. There you go. Hey, there, you go. there we you go. Got you got it, you got it. Success. I think I need to read this. Okay. Too close to that side. Yep. There's a cone I'm missing. to first. The course is awesome. They have a lot of different realistic things of which we're going to have to deal with. All right, let's try the offset lane change again. And then on top of that, they also model the course after a lot of the hospitals of which that we're going to have to be dealing with as well. I was talking to one of the, the driving instructors that we had at Onion Creek. The other thing is there are some hazards out here. Because Onion Creek is in a huge floodplain, that there was a whole neighborhood that legitimately got flooded out. And then from there, Daddy, what happened there? the city of Austin ended up buying out all these houses. A couple minutes, it was ankle deep. 15 minutes later, knee deep. By 6.30, we were wasting. And so now it's like a ghost town. And only, maybe, I only saw like maybe like five houses. I, I, I don't necessarily know exactly how Captain Klutsky came across this whole entire training element and how long they've been utilizing Onion Creek as a driver's training into real life situations. Why are you rushing? Huh? <laughs> I said, why are you rushing? Because everybody's standing over there and the captains are staring. But it's honestly, it's one of the most dynamic things I've Onion Creek. ever been a part of as far as driver's training goes. If you did park over there, what are you really... It's like kind of blocking too much, isn't it? Yeah. For her to get um, situated with her career path so young, um, I'm very proud of her and excited for her. I'm sure she's excited as well. So today I'm here because Sierra Rocha, my daughter's graduating from the Austin Travis County EMS system. I'm going to, wait, I'm going to pick every, I'm going to pin John's badge today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just very proud of him. You know, that he accomplished this, that he got through the academy, um, that he finished everything. I'm very excited for him to start um, the real work, basically. How did you guys meet? In Starbucks. <laughs> Have you met John? He's a talker. Uh, yeah, so what else we got? We got JC in the honor guard looking good here. Dr. Escott in the house. Is Dr. Pickett coming? Do we need to like warm up the scalpels or? When they're ready to graduate, it's sort of, um, it's, a, it's a happy day, but it's kind of a sad day because we get to see them when they come back, but we don't get to see them every day. We don't get to hang out with them. We don't get to engage with them. Here at Austin Travis County EMS, we are proud to simply call him Chief. I give you Austin Travis County EMS Chief, Robert Lukritz. I think it's safe to say for most of you all that this has been a pretty long journey. Eight long weeks of hard work, dedication, and yet you've all persevered and you're here today. Today is about you. Today is about welcoming you to our family. As I said, it's been a long eight weeks, but you're here. You're part of our family. We are invested in you. We are invested in your success. You're joining us today. It's such an exciting time. We've got challenges ahead of us. We're dealing with short staffing like the rest of the country. 
But you're coming to an organization that is growing and that is booming. You're coming to a city that is growing and that is booming. Austin is one of the fastest growing communities in the United States. And you are here joining us as we try to grow our organization to keep up with it. And not many other cities can say that. It's why every morning I wake up excited to come to work and think about the great things that we can be doing and the great things that we're gonna do for the community each and every day. So thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. Congratulations to all of the cadets. Welcome to the family. It is now time for the presentation of the badges, certificates, and It's about certificates. being able to- Scott Aubin. Uh, really be able to- <laughs> Reese Brazelton. Successfully uh, impact other people. Joseph Seminera. All right. Um, Christina Garrett. Sure. Cole Hawthorne. Yeah, I represent Austin Travis County EMS. Ross Lindsay. Gadarian Morris. Kayla Pearson. Andrea Rocha. Sierra Rocha. To the most highest degree, and I hold it up high. Absolutely. Accomplished. I feel like I don't want to get myself too excited because, yeah, it's, you're graduating like a pretty hard academy, but you still have field clearance. So it's like, it's an accomplishment, but it's just like another step up. Still more, more steps to go. Gabriel Cedillo. I want to be more proud of being able to impact others. Josh Smith. In a positive light. Brendan Teglianetti. And being able to treat people at a high level. John Winters. And hopefully making their worst days not seem so bad. fast or slow well we know that it came on pretty fast obviously because you took it and you kind of jumped all around a little bit and in terms of or I guess OPQRST on okay. when did you take it you know what why are you taking it and do you have a condition or, you know but the learning just never stops 